Hey everyone, so today's video is going to be another hammock and liner review. I purchased these hammocks from Dexter's Creature Comforts and she is a Canadian vendor. So if you live in Canada, then she is a perfect option since shipping will be a lot cheaper. But I did want to go ahead and show you guys all of the hammocks that I got from her because they were so pretty and she was really easy to work with. She responded to my comments really quickly and I had no issues when it came to ordering, picking my fabrics and all that kind of stuff. And the owner of the shop actually had a video that went viral last year with one of her rats named Dexter. And you've probably already seen it, but I will link it below. It's her little rat Dexter in a cube hammock that keeps pushing out a piece of broccoli that he doesn't want in the hammock and she keeps giving it to him and then he just pushes it right back out. But it's a cute video and she named the shop after him, which I thought was cute. So the first one here I had gotten for the girl's cage. It was just like a double decker hammock. And of course I picked the elephant fabric and she also has the fleece on the outside here, which I thought was a really cute touch. It's definitely different than all of the other hammocks that I've gotten from people. And I just thought that it was super cute. So there is the double decker. And this one is one of her own designs. It's kind of like a Heidi Hole peekaboo hammock. And this one matches the other hammock and it's Got two entrances here. These ones are Uno's favorite, and it's really soft. This was just like a soft cotton fabric with the fleece, and it comes with the grommets, and then she also does a really nice job of top stitching and all of that. So the girls in Uno will probably really like this one. This one was the same I just picked a different fabric that was more masculine for the boys cage so this is it same with the colored fleece on the side and then here is another peekaboo Heidi hole hammock which I really like these ones are my favorite and then this one is just a plain flat top hammock with um, this is more of like a thick cotton and then just a really nice colored fleece here and then these are the reason that I actually ordered from her store these are liners that I got for the chinchillas cage and these are really nice so as you can see you'll probably see it better with the smaller one this is the back side so the pan for the critter nation or ferret nation goes right in here like a little envelope so when it's in the cage Ellie can't pull up the liners like she does all the time so I really like these and she did a great job of top stitching kind of creative and I thought this fabric was cute and so when it comes to the pan that has the cutout here I'll show you it has an elastic bit because you wouldn't be able to get the full pan in. So this will go on the one side. And then on this side here, it just has the envelope like it normally does. So I did see these on her website where she was making them. So that's why I decided to order. So I will show you guys what they look like in the chinchilla cage. And then I also got some ramp covers to match so I'll probably put them purple side up just so it's not so yellow in the cage but um, I have the old Critter Nation, Ferret Nation liners that come with the cage and they're kind of falling apart but these ones are really nice and she added some velcro so they're easily attached on to the ramp cover. So as I was putting the liners in my cage, I realized that I had forgotten that I have one of the really old Ferret Nations. So it doesn't have the pans for the half level. It just has one of the shelves that kind of hangs on the side. 
So the envelope style wasn't really going to work properly, so I did have to kind of clip it down with the binder clips, but it worked perfectly. And I really like these liners. They have an absorbent layer in the middle. I think I had forgot to mention that at the beginning of the video. But here they are here with the corners wrapped around so Ellie can't dig at them and pull them up. So she might get a little frustrated, but that's okay. Um, so I'll go ahead and post all of the information for the shop below in the description. So I hope you guys liked this video, and I will see you in my next one. Thanks for watching.